Arthur has this great example uh, that was printed in Hartford by Kellogg's. So they were, you know, contemporary of Courier and Ives. And this is uh, Sherman's March to the Sea. And so let's talk about a landscape telling a story. When you could spend an hour looking at all the different figures in this scene, and you have uh, Sherman in the center with his spyglass looking off into the distance. You have battles and probably the burning of Richmond. Uh, and then you have the fugitive slaves here that are desperately trying to get behind Sherman so they can uh, follow his path to free. Uh, pulling up the railroad tracks. I mean, it really is a, a, such a fascinating view and the detail and the quality that they, they you can get out of uh, lithographic print is really, really amazing. Yeah, and that's the, uh, the printing in the legend um, and the little extra view in the legend really shows the quality of this, of this print. And I believe it's dated 18... Drawn 1883. 1883 yeah. So it really was, so it's like 20 years after. Yeah. So it was sort of a reflection probably uh, on the artist's imagination of what was going on during Sherman's March. Another kind of interesting historic view, this landscape depicts uh, Fort uh, Paulus Cook. Uh, down near uh, Staten Island uh, in New York City, and this is uh, titled Paulus Hook 1776. And this was a little fort that kind of guarded the entrance to New York Harbor uh, before the Revolution. It was put up very quickly on the eve of the Revolution. And um, this was drawn by Edward Lamson who was a, a very fine artist and illustrator interested in historical depictions and did a lot of uh, historical uh, interiors show, using genuine antiques. Uh, he was an illustrator and worked for Harper's Bazaar, uh, Harper's Weekly, and some of the other uh, publications of the time. And so in this, with its gray tones, it's very likely the uh, basis of an illustration that was later turned into a lithograph or some other other type of print. Uh, this was drawn probably around 1876, so at the centennial and 100 years after the revolution, there was a lot of interest in revolutionary topics and scenery. And the interesting part of Paulus Hook, it was thrown up quickly, put together, uh, and the British brought their large uh, man-of-war ships and immediately sailed right past the, the fort. So there wasn't, it wasn't quickly then the Americans abandoned it. It was taken over by the British and was the last British fort uh, in New Jersey, uh, New York area that was, uh, uh, that, the, that the British left uh, as they were leaving the area. So it is an interesting, interesting fort. You can see a lot of great details of the landscape painting that show that kind of tells the story of what was happening in the revolution. But interesting looking back uh, at a landscape of the past.